हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द एनजीओ स्पर्म्स सो एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर ऑफ इट दैट द एनजीओ स्पर्म्स हैव बीन क्लासिफाइड इन टू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिफरेंट सिस्टम्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन दैट हैव बीन प्रपोज फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम सो In this video, we will discuss about the three basic important systems of classifications. That is, artificial system of classification, natural system of classification, and phylogenetic system of classification. So, coming to the first system of classification, that is, artificial system of classification. This is one of the most earliest system of classification. which is mainly based on one or few easily observable characteristics it means that this classification was based on few characteristics that you can observe easily like the habit so on the basis of habit you can classify different types of angiosperms into herbs shrubs and trees or you can classify the plants on the basis of their floral characteristics like the number of stamens and carpels so if we talk about the examples of the artificial system of classification then the first example is by theophrastus who is regarded as the father of botany so theophrastus in his book historia plantarum classified about 480 plants into trees shrubs under shrubs and herbs so in the case of artificial system of classification he considered only habit as a characteristic feature for classifying plants into different categories other example that we can take in this type of classification is by linnaeus who is regarded as the father of plant taxonomy so he published a sexual system of classification and the basis of that classification was nature and number of stamens and carpels we will take up that classification later in a detailed video so in the artificial system of classification the authors considered only few external characteristics or few basic characteristics to classify plants into different categories like Theophrastus who took habit as a characteristic feature for classifying plants into trees shrubs under shrubs and herbs or Linnaeus who took some floral characteristics like the nature of stamen and carpels to classify plants into different categories Now coming to our next category that is natural system of classification. So the natural system of classification is based on natural affinities among the plants and they consider not only the external features but also the internal features like the ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology and phytochemistry. So the natural system of classification involves the incorporation of external features as well as internal features for the classification of plants now coming to the example of natural system of classification so this type of classification was given by george bentham and joseph dalton hooker we will take up that topic in detail in our next video and the other contributors of the natural system of classification is antony laurent and ap de candol now coming to third system of classification that is the phylogenetic system of classification and this type of classification is based on evolutionary and genetical tendencies of the plants if we talk about the term phylogeny then the term phylogeny includes knowledge of ancestors place and time of their origin primitive relatives and interrelationships among the major groups so in this phylogenetic system of classification plants have been classified on the basis of their phylogeny that will include the knowledge of their ancestors the place the time of their origin the primitive relatives and their interrelationships with the different groups so if we talk about the examples of the phylogenetic system of classification then it includes the classifications given by angler and plantel bessie hutchinson taktajan cronquist dalgren and thorne so the classification given by these workers comes under the category of phylogenetic system of classification so these are the three different systems of classification that we have discussed 
artificial system that involves one or few easily observable characteristics. Example is your Theophrastus and linear system of classification. Natural system which is based on both external as well as internal features. Example is Bentham and Hooker system of classification. And phylogenetic system that is based on evolutionary and genetical tendencies. An example is your Angler and Prantel, Hutchinson, Bessie, Conquest and Dalgren system of classification. So if you like the video, just subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you so much.